Hello guys, welcome back to Good Zero Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Taken 8 is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. The game released last day, I mean a few hours back and users are using and they're facing this trouble. If you're having any one of this trouble, you can try these steps and that will be working. The first one is all about we have to do a restart on your system. So to do this, we just need to go over here in the start, click on this particular icon, go to the power icon over here and go for a restart. Once the restart is done, just try launch the game. Sometimes a simple restart can fix the issue, so you can try this out. Next one is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, many users launch the game from the Steam. Maybe that is causing the issue up. So we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to go over here to the game, right click and we have to go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the browse. So when you click on the browse, if you go back, you'll be able to see this particular folder. That is this PC, local C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, taken eight, so actually the game is demo, which is a few days back the game was available in the demo. So that is why I haven't purchased the game. So once after you reach this particular folder, you have to launch the game from here. So when you are launching the game from the installation folder, this will be working fine because it worked for many users. You can try this out as well. Also, I would like to make a notice. I'll be showing you two more steps from here. Hence, within the installation folder. And that is we have to run the game as an administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode either in the Windows 7 or we have to run in the Windows 8. So to run the game as an administrator, right click over here and go to the show more options, go to the properties, go for compatibility, click on to run this program as an administrator. We have to go for apply and we have to go for OK. That is what we have to do. Next one, we have to run the game in the compatibility mode, right click and go to show more options, go to the properties go for compatibility, click on to run this program in the compatibility mode. We have to set this to Windows 7. First, go for apply and check with, you can also try check it with Windows 8 and go for apply as well. Once you're done with this one, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about, we have to make sure the date and region is correct, which is very important. Not only the date, time and region is correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search Navigate to settings or search for settings. Navigate to time and language. Go for date and time. Make sure time zone and time automatically and all these things are turned on, which is very important. And we can also click on the sync now option and we have to set this up. Now just go back, go to the language and region. From here, you have to select the ge uh, geography, which means if you're from United States, you have to select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, you have to select the United Kingdom. So you have to do according to your geography. And I don't know how this is related, but even this helped many users in my knowledge. So that is why I'm sharing with this guys as well. Next one, we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So uh, it helped many users for the issues such as, you know, not launching or won't launch. So you can try this out as well. Next one, we have to delete the saved game file. So uh, for this, we just need to go over here in the game, not here, I'll be showing you this. Just go over here in the file explorer. Now navigate to the documents. Over here, you'll be able to find the folder on taken demo. So uh, the users who are watching this, you'll be having the folder taken eight. So once you started playing the game and save each steps, you'll be getting the folder on this. So if you're not able to find the folder, don't get panicked you'll be able to find the folder or you can get into the folder my games and also here also you'll be able to find the folder. So if you find the folder on taken eight, just delete the folder and keep in mind, you'll be losing all the provisions of the game, but that is fine. And that is what we have to do. And once afterwards, you have to try to the next one that we have to allow the game to Windows security. So we just need to go over here in the search. We have to navigate to the control panel. We have to go to the system and security. We have to go to the Windows Defender firewall. Go for allow and apport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to Taken. So keep scrolling down and navigate to the Taken 8. So keep on scrolling over here as you can see. The game is already there and it is already added. So there is no fine uh, issue with it. But sometimes, you know, the game will be added, but these checks will not be marked. So we have to make sure 
both the private and both the public both has to be marked and some cases the game will not be here if that is the case we have to add the game by default just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse navigate to this pc go to local to c go to program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we have to navigate to taken 8 keep scrolling down go to taken 8 select this one and go for open and we have to add it i'm getting the error because the game is already added so once the game is successfully added we just need to close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of things for example you know uh, we might be connected with uh, multiple monitors we might be connected with uh, i have to say controllers logitech wheels and all these kinds can even cause the issue up so if that is the case just remove the unwanted things we have to remove the unwanted things even the joysticks even if you're playing it just remove everything launch the game once the game is launched and you are in the game you can connect it back and try playing the game next one is all about we have to perform clean boot so just go over here navigate to the system configuration over here just search for system configuration go for services and go for click on hide all microsoft services and we have to go for disable all go for apply and go for ok they're gonna ask you for restart so let me do one thing just go over in the system configuration services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok they're gonna ask you for restart the users who are watching this just go for restart but i'm gonna go for exit without restart because we're in the middle of shooting so just go for exit without restart and once afterwards try launch the game Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay in the game. So just go over here, right click and we have to go to the properties. Make sure this is turned off. If it is turned on, we have to turn this off, try launch the game. Next one, we have to give the commands in the launch option. The first command is DX11. Start with DX11. So D, if DX11 is not working, try with dx12 so you can either try with the dx11 or we have to try with dx12 so any one of the things will be working fine and that is what we have to do next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application so we just need to go over here right click navigate to the task manager and right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually utilized and the ram is having some kind of issue for example, it is all running at a time and RAM will be crashing definitely and it will not be able to withstand it. So we just need to remove the unwanted things. For example, you know what I have to say, Discord, uh, Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner and all these are one of the main example of these kind of high applications. So just remove the unwanted things from here and only make sure when you are launching the game, only the game is running in the background. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the game, search for graphics settings. Now from here we need to add the game here. So as you can see I have already added all the games. So just click on the browse. Now from here navigate to this PC, go to local DC, program file x86. Keep scrolling down, navigate to Steam. We have to navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to navigate to we need to navigate to the game, taken 8, select this one and we have to go for add. So once you add it, just click on the option, save this to high performance and go for save. And once you set this up, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about, we have to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, just go over here and we have to search for view advanced system setting. Go to the advanced, go for settings, go for advanced, go for change. Make sure this is automatically managed paging file size should be blank and we have to select the local disk C because the game is installed in C. Go for the custom size, set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So I'll be showing you this, we need a calculator so just go over here in the calculator. So you have to type the RAM, so that 2 GB is my RAM. So first thing I have to type is type your RAM, multiply with a constant value, this 1024 is common for everyone. You have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 copy this and we have to paste it next one the maximum size that is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and once it has been set we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one we need to update the window so just go over here go to the settings go for windows update 
just update the windows and once you update the windows try launching the game because windows has to be up to date next one we can it you need to update the graphics card which is a very important step so i'll be providing both link for the nvidia as well as to the amd users the nvidia users has to go over here and select everything like the product type should be selected product series should be selected so it's according to your configuration and if you're on the 4090 select it if you're on windows 11 select windows 11 if you're on windows 11 and go for start search and when you go for start search what happens is you'll be getting the latest released version that is 551.23 is the driver version which is latest released one which is on january 24 2024 so just download this one install and restart if you're on the amd just go over here and select every details over here and go for submit and if you're on windows 11 download this one and if you're on windows 10 you can try downloading this one you can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus so if the system is based on x64 you can download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launching the game so uh, these possible can be done and even after trying all these steps and still if you're having the trouble we have two steps one among them is we have to uninstall and we have to reinstalling it back for just uninstalling go over here and manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back we have to installing it back not on the local list c but we have to find a new local list and that is what we have to do and the next one the last and the least one which is a very important step sometimes all these kind of crashing issue not launching won't launch freezing and stuttering low fps drop all these things can happen because of you know what i have to say because of uh, the files might be corrupted so if that is the case we have to verify the game file so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so we just need to wait this to reach 100 percentage and afterwards i'll be concluding so just let us wait this to reach 100 percentage So once it's successfully validated, just close everything, try launch the game and that will be working fine. And these possible workarounds can be done. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.